What is up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how I approach logo design. Now once upon a time, I designed logos almost exclusively. Now my wife's launching a lactation consulting business next year, so I wanted to design the logo. Now the goal of most logo design is to be simple. You don't have to have crazy artistic talent. You don't need to draw well. It's more about conceptualizing ideas in an abstract manner, typically with simple shapes and forms. Now here you see me going through a bunch of different fonts. Now a lot of them are garbage fonts I haven't gotten rid of yet, but I'm simply moving potential candidates off to the side for further consideration until I come upon a font that I really like. Now here you see me checking out Dribbble's branding section just so that I can get an idea of what the current pulse is around logo design. It's certainly been a while since I've done this. Now at this point, I'm trying to conceive of different ideas. I'm looking at letter forms and pairing them against the features and benefits of the business. Now notice the dots in the two lowercase i's in the name. My idea is to connect them through an arc of sorts. So when I think about the word vibes, like sending out good vibes, dude, <laughs> that's lame. Anyway, I think of positive emotions emitting from a single source. And so I think this is an abstract concept that we can work with. So now that I have the basic shape of the logo, I'm going to consider color choices. Now I duplicate different concepts until I ultimately find the right color choice, which ends up being a series of analogous colors and analogous meaning adjacent colors on the color spectrum, which are placed on each of the dots in the arc. Now, you're going to see me create a document that attempts to describe the meaning behind the logo. This is something you will see from large branding projects. When Pepsi hired an identity design firm for $1 million to redesign their logo in 2008, they produced a 20-page document full of bullshit. That's one of the takeaways in logo design. The more you can BS the client, the more you can earn. Now notice the three lines that look like a Wi-Fi signal? I'm going to give those a name, and I'm gonna call them the success pillars. As such, they emphasize the progress a new mother will make towards breastfeeding, or something like that. <laughs> Next up, I have to break down this arc, or rather, the success arc. Now, the success arc you see is very wondrous and has multiple meanings. Not only do they serve as abstract representations of milk, they're also representative of diversity. You see, diversity of the clientele and their unique and individual struggles. This, of course, is conveyed through the unique colors found on the arc.
And here we go. Here's my wife's new logo. Most importantly, she likes it, which is all that matters. I told her with this logo, though, comes great responsibility. The progress pillars in the success arc require nothing short of business excellence. <laughs> now, on a more serious note, I'm looking forward to creating more videos about her business as I will be developing a website and a social media presence. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed this. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.